your website looks nice but nowadays the society doesn't really like going website which is bad because we spend more uh of our time on bid platforms yes i know but that's why i'm doing it because like i like i said before we go on bid platform because the promise is as a creator right Come here and bring all your content. We're going to have a lot of followers for you. And you're going to have so many people watching your stuff. We have 2 billion people waiting to see your stuff. And then you post your stuff to even 100 people who follow you. And these 100 people, they don't see your post. So... Listen, if the contract is broken, let me just go back to where I was before. I'm not saying I'm not going to post anymore. I'm going to continue posting the way I'm posting right now. If you if you look at my Instagram, I have a ton of engagement now because I post stupid stuff. People falling, me do a face. Like, and listen, I'm posting to Instagram what Instagram wants to see fun stuff and listen i'm getting thousands of new followers and everybody is there saying pona why and uh, listen i'm building there something different but you know if you put a cover art on instagram or if you put a flyer from a party on instagram with a lot of text do you know that Instagram, if there's more than, I think, 10 to 20% of text in your image, instead of showing it to your 100,000, listen, 100% of your followers, it jumps down to 5% of the people are going to see it because there's too much text and it's a flyer. So you're doing an ad. And if you want to do an ad, you have to pay us. And if you, you you pay us to put an ad, you still cannot put text because your ad will not be shown to a lot of people. And you're like, okay, so if I have a club and flyers is part of how I promote my parties, you're saying that I'm doing a Instagram account for my club and I can I cannot post ads flyers about my parties because they're not going to be seen by the people who follow me to know when is the next party. <laughs> I'd rather tell the people, hey, I know you guys are obsessed with Instagram and stuff or TikTok, but my info is there. And if, if you want to receive an email, so on my website, down there, if you want to receive an email every week with everything that I posted, all you have to do is put your email in there in the footer click subscribe and that's it you will receive an email every time there's a release there's a post whatever and there you go and i'm just going back to how it was before and i'm doing it because i feel that i have to do it because it is getting worse and worse and listen It's not so horrible for me. I have 5 million views on YouTube every month. I have like 300,000 accounts seeing my stuff, seeing my brands, having brand awareness, etc. I know how to use the platforms. But I'm like, 
let me go back to my website because I feel it. And you know, I'm a guy, every time I feel it, people don't understand. And only 10 years after, they're like, damn, he talked about it. So yeah, listen. More and more, more and more, artists are struggling with releasing and I'm, I'm going to talk about this in another video but creators beat makers singers rappers uh, uh record labels everybody is struggling with the concept of creating when creation has become a commodity because of social media because everybody's a creator and everybody finally has equal chance in a way to upload put your song on spotify i think there's a million song every day every every week a million song every week what how are you supposed to exist if there's a million song every week when your song come out it's one out of a million. It means that in a month, that's three million songs. So your song come out and it's one out of three million. Yeah, but there's two billion people on Spotify. You can find your mark. Listen, I make five million stream every month. I'm good. I make a lot of money from Spotify because I own everything. I usually write everything. So, and I, I compose a lot of things. I'm good. But then you have to make the right calculations in your head. Do I want 100? Look, my YouTube subscribers. I have almost 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. And when I post a video, they don't see the videos because the algorithm doesn't show them the video, but they're subscribed. Yeah. And the question a creator has to ask themselves is do you want to have a multitude of people following you but they are low quality followers do you want to have 1 million followers but only I don't know 100 people in these 1 million people there's 100 people who are buying something that you are selling. Everybody else is putting comments and saying, oh my God, it's amazing. Or they just appear when you say something funny or you post something funny. Now all of a sudden they're all here. The rest of the time, they're not here. Not because they don't like you, because the platform don't show them the content. You post your new song, you have six comments. You post some idiot falling from somewhere, you have 500 comments. Oh. So now, if you are selling something, a service, music, art, whatever, and you need your product to be seen to the, for the clients, and I'm telling you that you have a place where you can have a hundred thousand people following you that you will go, you're going to be able to show your product. And then when you post to these hundred thousand people, only five of them see the product. And in those five, only one of them buy the product. And maybe every, let's say every time somebody buys the product, you make ten dollars so 
you post, let's say you post four times a month and you make $10 every time from that one person out of a hundred thousand. So now you have 40 bucks that you made this month. Hooray. Now let's imagine that you have your own website and in your own website, you have a hundred soldiers. They're subscribed. They come here every day by themselves without ads, adver- uh, algorithms telling them nothing. They don't need to be subscribed. They have your place in your link, in their links. They go to Instagram, they go to XYZ, and then they come to your place and they go check for products. And these hundred people, every one of them will buy free product in the month. So that's 300 products multiply by 10. These 100 people are making you 3000 a month. That's it. In a world where there's too much creators, there's too much people online. There's too much people trying competing with each other too many beat makers because it's too easy to make beats you go on splice you download four things or you download a i'm a piano pack and all of a sudden you're the best i'm a piano beat maker it's too easy to create now and yeah people will say yeah but what about the quality what listen the people who are drunk in a club have no clue what you're talking about us we understand the difference because we are the smart people but the the rest of the 99 percent of the people they're drunk on drugs in the club they don't care they don't know they have no clue that everything is a loop in there all they know is it sounds good and this is the reality of the fact that back in the days it costs way too much money to be a creator so only the people who had either uh in investors or who had the possibility to buy their own shit or the people who invested early whatever money they made in their material were able to make beats so when it was in the zook market for example uh the french zook market when it was keisha ali angel um uh, frederic Wurz, thierry dumerg uh Face à face, Nichols and Thierry Delaney, and listen, there were 10 beat makers. When there was 10 beat makers, and there was, I don't know, 100 artists trying to make it, everybody could buy. If you were part of the, the best beat makers like me, you could sell your beats for 3000 because People had no choice. You wanted the Keisha sound, you had to go to Keisha. You wanted a, a, a good Zouk Zouk, you could go to, to Frédéric Wurt. Thierry Delaney would do you a good Zouk compa. Ali Angel would do a, a, a nice Zouk compa, etc., etc. Et But then after five years, there's a new generation that came and technology permitted them to 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 make beats that sounded like us, sounded like Ali Angel. And it was not a question of, it was never a question of talent. It was just a question of being able to be heard. And then all of a sudden there was 50 beat makers. And you you want you wanted Ali Angel, but you didn't have 3000 to pay Ali Angel. You could send an email to Mark G in, in Boston and maybe he could make you a beat for a thousand. All of a sudden, when you heard the 1,000 euro beat from Mark G, it sounded the same as Ali Angel. He has he had as much talent. He was just not in your radar. And now that he's in your radar, you're like, wait a minute. An Ali Angel beat costs 3,000. With the same 3,000, I can buy three Mark G beats? Oh, 
as as the as a client you'd be like let me buy three of those they are as good as this one this one is amazing and he has the name this one doesn't have the name but he's as as amazing as a beat maker and i remember ali angel calling me yo man i'm losing my clients to mark g i was like yeah bro you are the, the guy has an amazing talent and you know what i did i signed mark g on publishing straight away I'm like, yo sushi were publishing let me get let me get half of the money you're generating because i can see that soon everybody's gonna call you like they do we at sushi Row, we innovate and that after that all the fools they follow they go find the people we use in our albums so that's why i was signing everybody i signed the beat makers because i know you were gonna call them but what was happening in the game at that point was that it was the end of a not a monopoly but the end of just having like yeah 10 guys like you know and it was the same in Kizomba. You had you had me making beats. You had Ali Angel was selling a lot to the Kizomba market. Then you had uh, Tosemedo. You have this guy, that guy, and it, and you could sell beats high because the market was not flooded with beats and artists. Nowadays, if you're a beat maker, making beats only is not is not an option for survival simple as that because anybody can make a beat i was telling this i always say the same thing to bodhisattva he always get pissed because he's like oh there's a, there's something about the craft and i was like bro nobody cares anybody can be a dj i, I can show you in I listen i learned how to dj with tractor with just a mouse in 10 minutes it's too easy you put auto sync it's just like auto tune and you can sing if you have the good melody nobody cares so the offer when it exceeds the demand anybody who understand and economics a little bit understand that this is enough to make the prices go down and today nobody will give you more than 200 for a beat because if you buy a beat for 200 and then you buy an engineer for 100 to record your song and then you buy 50 to, to do the mastering so that's already 350 right and then uh you pay cd baby another 50 to put the songs in all the platforms that's 400 right now you need to make 500 000 streams just to get your money back so if you think the way I think, you're like, it's not worth it. Either you make your beats yourself or you do a deal with a beat maker. You tell him, hey, listen, let's make two songs. One is yours, you sell it. One is mine, I sell it. And let's generate some money, both of us. And in a month, let's do it, let's do it again. And and you build your catalog because the only way to survive is to have a catalog. And what I'm feeling is that it's better to have 100 people that are here for you and that are quality customers that are willing to buy your t-shirts, your songs, your this and your that and go to your shows and spend, listen, every year, I don't know, 500 on you, that's 50K in a year, rather than going to a place where it's 2 billion people and these 2 billion people who are all, all competing for the same thing, which is your time, your laughter, your likes, your fake friendship online and in the end nobody wins 
because you don't even know how it goes viral. There's no, it's just something that happens. And when it happens to you, it's amazing. If you have something to sell, it's great. If you don't have nothing to sell, it it can fuck up your mind because now you 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 have you had the drug in you of that instant gratification and fame and dopamine and you're trying to do it again so now instead of posting for the fun of posting you want to show your ass because you are trying to to get more likes because you are trying to get this viral moment again and and now you you are now you at the the hand of the platforms and if you disagree with the platform or it disagrees with you on any subject any subject or you want to just ex ex explain something yo and you say, yeah listen i believe that well sorry for what happened to you but maybe if you stop invading other people country maybe these people would not turn into terrorists or whatever i don't know boom channel removed <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did I say? No, no, no. What you say was anti anything, but I'm not anti nobody. No, no. What you say? No, no. We don't condone, huh? But I, no, 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 no. Your voice is too big for you to be saying these things. It's dangerous for the people who cannot think for themselves. I'd rather have my website. Listen, I'd rather have my website with a thousand followers that I can trust that when I release something, at least they go listen to it. Rather than having, putting my music out there with everybody, putting my, putting my drop in the sea with everybody else, and then I'd rather have my one, listen, I know all my biggest listeners. I know them. I know their names because they've been coming to Keisha.com and SushiRaw.com since 2003. They were there. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh album. They were there, all of them. I know, I call them the Sushi Row Soldiers. It's like a 200 people and they're here. DJ Sonia Dor, who, who was there uh, a few moments ago. When I released my ninth album, African Prince, he sent me a picture of his iTunes card. He bought an iTunes card at the store here in Portugal and he bought a, a, a $15.99 or 20 euro card and he was showing me just the card, telling me I bought this card so I can download your album. And I was like, bro, all you have to do is stream on Spotify. Or Apple Music or Tidal or, or Deezer or SoundCloud, wherever. Why would you buy the album? And he was like, I want to do my part. I want to do my part. I want to support you because your music has been the soundtrack of my life for the last 20 years and I want to I want to thank you sensei. I want to I want to listen. I want to show up. And he's not the only one. There was him, Abju, ZL, all these people that have been there for 20 years in my career. When I do an album, they show up and they say, "Hey, Keisha's new album and I was like, bro, thank you, but you can just stream it if you stream it. And they're like, no, 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 no. I want to pay my 20 euros to show my appreciation. And after that, I'll stream it. 
but I want to I want to I want to buy and own your album. And if you had a vinyl version or a special box something, I would buy it. And listen, you need a hundred people like this. If you have a hundred people like this and you have one thing to sell them every month, one, and they are willing to spend 20 every month. If you have a hundred people multiplied by 20, that's 2000 that you make from these hundred people. And 2000 is enough to pay your rent at least. And then for, from the rest, from the people who come and go, maybe you can make another 1,000, 2,000, and you're good. But it is way better to understand that there's a difference between the quantity and the quality. And it's the same for followers. You can have a million ghost followers, or you can have 1,000 quality people who show up show love they come to shows they come to they come to 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 events they 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 whenever you release something they hear they they they, they spend their money etc etc and listen um when i did my uh last year i did a show zook lover was there in the crowd and i remember when he was like 16 or 17 coming to my shows in Portugal in 2003 and now he's in his late 30s and he was there and he was telling me oh I, I was crying during the show I was like why I was like, oh these songs and I was like yo thanks bro I gotta invite you to dinner you and the boys because the more we advance in a world where everything is dem dematerialized and the more we succumb our, our power to platforms, the more these platforms are a little bit arbitrary and the less they fulfill their promise. And then you start thinking, and you know, me, I'm a thinker, and I'm like, hmm, interesting. Maybe it's time to go back to smaller but controlled places. We are here in Club Shada. And listen, I have enough money to spend 500 every every week on this show. To have more people know it. But yo, I know the name of everyone here. Respect ALC, Tome, Black Free Thinker, etc. etc. Tatiana, Future Sound Beat, MJ, Michelle. I know the names of everybody. And because we know each other, you know me. You know how I think. You come back and you guys show up every week. And we have conversations about stuff. And listen, it would be great in financial terms to have a thousand people watching at the same time, every show. And maybe in these thousand have two or 300 sending super chats and maybe make, I don't know, 5,000 every show. In terms of money, that would be great. But in terms of quality, first of all, I, we would not be able to have these conversations the way we are having it. Because I wouldn't see the, your comments. I would only see the comments of the people who pay. Now we can have conversation. We can think about these things. And I can tell you what I'm doing. And why I'm doing it. And you can give me your opinions and we can go back and forth. And I can tell you, hey, listen, as I always say, 
I'm only here for 45 minutes. And, a, and an hour and a half later, I'm still talking. 